My beautiful Leos, welcome to your 1 till 8 April general reading with me, Andrew Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. So, speaking of the 8th of April, my beautiful Leos, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening at the moment, all sort of like very zoomed in and focused on, on April the 8th. And everybody's very concerned and like, is the world going to go, it's going to end and like, what's going to happen and... First and foremost, it's a very powerful event. It's a really powerful event. And on April the 8th, there is this incredible lunar eclipse that is happening. And I think this particular sort of lunar eclipse only happens like every 325 years. So it's a huge deal. You know, and for those of you that are not familiar with the lunar eclipse, basically, here's the Earth, here's the Sun, Moon in between. So it sort of blocks the light. But it's such a powerful, powerful event and in such a positive way so i don't want you to be afraid of it i actually want to encourage you to really embrace it you know eclipse season in general is a very magical season in any case um but this is very powerful so at the end of the reading i'm going to draw you a couple of cards for a direct message from the universe for April the 8th. So stay with the reading from the beginning till end so you can really sort of put it all into context and perspective for yourself, beautiful Leo. But for now, let's get into your reading and take a look at what are the energetic forces that have contributed and how they contributed to get you to the most powerful moment that you can possibly be at, which is now. Okay. Beautiful Leos, let's have a look. Dum, 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 dum. So Leo's recent past energy, you've got the seven of wands, the nine of wands, the empress energy. Lots and lots of emotions. Lots of emotions. Alright. Not necessarily in the most comfortable way either. Alright. Um, there was a real growth opportunity here for you. And I can see that you have recognize a growth opportunity maybe it just came to you it was the next natural step it, it it sort of like feels very perfectly attuned to you and it's it's like you created something here started something here from a space that i don't really know if other people would be able to do this you know you leo i mean this is a reading for leo where we could leo in your chart you know cross watch however you came here there's a message here for you and if you don't know Leos, or Leo, if you forgot this about yourself, you are able to create miracles from desolation, basically, where other people see absolutely nothing. You can create a complete miracle from desolation, complete miracle. You know, and sometimes we forget that magical potential about ourselves. But I can see that you really came out, you, you really started to shine, um, you've created beauty, you've like just flourished in that beautiful way that only really Leo can flourish, you know, which is beautiful. Um, and it may have been a bit challenging there for you. Um, you may have been a bit doubtful there. You may have been coming from really good intentions and maybe you were reminded of a time in the past when you did come from good intentions, but, you know, maybe there were those that were sort of kind of like committed to misunderstanding you and misquoting you and things like that. And there may be a concern that that will be repeated, but it sort of feels like that you kind of realize that it didn't have to. You really tapped into your potential, into the energetic flow of life, into your power. Um, so very, very beautiful, actually. You know, very, very beautiful. Let's see where this has brought you to. It's like like magic is poof, poof, poof. Just like, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like magic is exploding around you. Like just happening okay what is this bringing leo in their current space please six of wands hermit energy full energy powerful stuff powerful stuff powerful it's like a it's like a new beginning that changes everything a new beginning that changes absolutely everything for you look at this how powerful is this six of wands hermit and the four Victory and success in every way, shape, and form. Leo, if you are open to victory and success in every way, shape, and form, life, emotional well-being, mental well-being, physical well-being, romance, finances, career, just being, sense of place, sense of home, sense of comfort, sense of being, 
say yes to that. Hand on the heart, nice deep breath, say yes to it. Because it's your time to shine, it's your moment to shine, it's your time to step into your magic. It's the time for you to really be rewarded for all the hard work that you've done. It is your time now. It's a time for you to, um, I'm going to say, getting all the good that you deserve. All right? Getting all the positive that you deserve. Getting everything you worked hard for. Dream coming true. Getting the opportunity to rest. It's important for you right now to give yourself some downtime. To give yourself some resting time. To spend some time with yourself. To reflect inwards. To give yourself a rest. There is a lot that has been happening. You know, possibly new projects, new love, new this, new that. And, and sometimes, Leo, you know, you are so amazing really great at organizing things you know and, and like getting everything to work and getting the best out of everyone and sort of like still making them feel so empowered and all those beautiful things in the process that sometimes you forget about you so now is the time for you to spend with you all right and also as you do you contribute to this next level that you are going to you may have you may think that you have you've stepped into your power. Leo, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Leo, you ain't seen nothing yet. You are stepping into your power like nobody's business. Like it is just powerful. And it's it's so so especially if you've maybe been working on something, I see your genius being released into the world. Alright? Your your efforts paying off victory and success that you deserve it's beautiful resonates hand on the heart say yes to it okay potential going forward for you two of swords high priestess sun energy so whenever you feel confused whenever you feel conflicted whenever you feel overwhelmed too thinly spread whatever it may be whenever you're feeling like oh fuck i don't know what to do Surrender, surrender, surrender. Surrender is always the answer for you. All right? In this 1 to 8 April period. You don't know what to do? Surrender to source. Okay? And here's a beautiful way to surrender, which might really help you. And I find this very powerful, um, in my very effective in my own life and for my clients, is that, you know, I would say that, so when you make a vision board, so let's just, I'm going to run through this very, very quickly, very, very quickly. I really break it down in my Abundance Manifestation Masterclass. But um, if you really want something, this is how you can powerfully work with the power of the universe and surrender, like next level, okay? Before you make a vision board, journal about things, feel how it feels, write it down. Really get to the sense of what does it feel like? What does it feel like? What does it feel like? All right? What is it like waking up in that life where, say, the problems, the worries, the fears, and concerns that you have right now, five years into the future, and for the last three years, they were not even part of your life anymore. What is it like waking up in that life? All right? Really get that feeling. Once you get that feeling, now you want to create your vision board. Be as detailed as you can be. And then once you've made that vision board, you've got all the details and everything. I want the flower vase over here and that sort of stuff. Then even more feel that feeling and then surrender that to the universe. Give that to the universe as a blueprint. This is what I want. This is the minimum. All right? Because... Believe it or not, the universe always has more for us, so much more than we can imagine, because the full picture that we see is always only part of the picture. So when you surrender that to the universe, and you say, universe, go to town with this magic coming in for you, there with the sun energy, all right? I would just really say for you, my beautiful um, Leos, things turning out way better than expected, way better. Resonates with your hand on the heart, yes to it, okay? All right, let's clarify before we draw that 8th of April message for you, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. And if any of you are interested in really exponentially growing to that next level, personal development, spiritual development, psychic development, reading cards, then check out the links for my courses down below in the description. I put a lot into my courses because I want you to get a lot out of them. All right, so go ahead and check out the links in the description. Clarifying that recent past energy there for you. Love is, oh, wow. Super wow. Okay. 
super 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 warm super warm love is energy nine of pentacles energy the star energy all right so choice energy you you got you had a choice and you made the right choice all right there was a choice and you made the right choice and sometimes we doubt ourselves and you wonder you know what if i chose something differently what if i went in a different direction you went in the direction that you should have gone into all right wish fulfillment things really started to work out for you and it started to work out profoundly beautiful in alignment with the dream the creator was dreaming for you and you know that really inspired the creator to call that beautiful being that is you into creation into being this is powerful stuff okay i want you to hear me with your heart don't just feel like oh well adrian's trying to impress me uh -uh. i want you to say yes to this this is powerful whenever you hear this even if it's not one to april okay um, all right, the cards for your current energy just popped out. The moon, the eight of wands, and the three of swords. Feel your feelings. Feel your emotions. All right. And there are people that are going to appreciate your efforts, genuinely appreciate it, Leo. There's going to be some freeloaders, and there's going to be like, you know, whatever, on some trip again. You want to show up for the people that are really honestly legitimately there for you it's not your job to save people okay you can help them as much as you can but not to the point that the price you pay is you sometimes we gotta say to people you know what no n o not happening that's it it's not happening because i don't want it to happen it doesn't honor me it doesn't value me you have taken enough advantage of me Sometimes you've got to say that, and I feel that for many of you, there is someone that you need to say that to. You have taken advantage of me enough. It's been enough now. This is where I draw the line. So yes, maybe I have cultivated a, a space of codependency and things like that, and I feel that for some of you, you really may have, but this is it. You know? No longer your doormat. No longer your little servant. All right? No longer the person who's trying to save you. Here to help you when I get back on board, at maybe even this rate and this sort of things in these conditions all right because someone's just taken in they've taken advantage of you enough it's enough all right stop overcompensating you know that whole thing of like but i can see the light which is really cool but until they can see their light and they don't want they as long as they don't expect you to be almost like their life force energy and to carry them and to put up with their shit, you gotta draw a line. You gotta draw a line. All right? You gotta draw a line. It's very important for you. You are ready to, to go forward and to shine and to prosper. And you're ready to do so in a way where even if you have to say goodbye to a certain person, a connection, an energy, you can, an agreement, even you might do so in a way that is very amicable. It's in the best interest of everyone. And I feel that even if there's someone that's feeling a little bit pouty because of all of this and feels that, you know, that you should have been um, maybe almost like you owe it to them or you should be there for them and all those sort of things, I feel that they actually get to see um, the, the logic in why you're taking the steps. All right? Because I do see it as an act of love. I don't even know if you can be selfish and not love, Leo. I, I don't really think that is something that you can do, you know. Let's look at the energy going forward. Sun energy, death card energy, ten of pentacles. So why do you want to surrender? And a card that falls to the floor is powerful. So why is it that you want to, remember as I said earlier on, if you don't know what to do, surrender because you're surrendering right into your highest good, okay? You are, as you go forward, you are definitely leaving the old behind and going into a new space. And not everybody might be ready to go with you, but where you are going, Leo, you are heading in such a prosperous direction. It is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It resonates, hand on the heart, yes to it, okay? Let's see what is your message for the 8th of April. If all of that resonates with you, Leo, I'd appreciate you going ahead, liking the video. I always look forward to your comments. Remember to subscribe. I've got your video here for you every week, as well as some other helpful videos as well.
Okay. So message directly from source for Leo for 8th of April specifically. You got the three of ones, the devil energy, the magician energy. So the the desires of your heart are literally coming to your shores. This is this is this is potential knocking on your door. Alright? This is potential literally knocking on your door. Okay. Um, and it does mean that you sort of it's you are being called here to be sober about a situation to be honest and clear and transparent about a situation that might be a little bit difficult but it might need be time to step away from a certain situation that has come for you over and over and to step into your power i feel that maybe your life has been too much about other people empowering others you know cultivating and expanding and unlocking and sort of maintaining their potential and in a sense, you may have neglected your own, but it's really time for you to step into your power now. Because as you step into your power and you really cultivate your power and you take care of your power and you safeguard it and you expand it and express it, I feel that you can serve the collective consciousness, the global consciousness, bigger, better and more. Okay, something kind of similar came up for Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or you got a Virgo placement or you feel inclined to look at the Virgo reading. Go right ahead. All right, but for now, my beautiful, beautiful Leos, that's what I got for you. I hope it resonates. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I see you on the next video. Bye for now.